Welcome back everyone, today we are going to make some 1.4 dioxane. For this we will use 69% sulfuric acid and a sort of ethylene glycol. The purity of the ethylene glycol actually doesn't matter. We start off by measuring out 650 milliliters of our ethylene glycol. The ethylene glycol is poured into a two neck round bottom flask. Afterwards, 65 milliliters of our 96% sulfuric acid are measured out. The mysterious smoke you see here is probably some acetaldehyde or a byproduct of sulfuric acid reacting with the dye of our antifreeze. I wanted to show how much our solution will heat up when we add sulfuric acid. So a thermocouple was added before I added the sulfuric acid. Then the sulfuric acid was just dumped in. We can observe an immediate raise in the temperature. This is also the reason that you add acid to water and not the other way around. Then the flask was put into a heating mantle with an integrated magnetic stirrer. I didn't show it in the video, but a magnetic stirrer bar was added beforehand. A distillation bridge was put into place. I covered the ground glass plugs in sulfuric acid to make sure that no dioxane vapor escapes from our apparatus. We maxed out the magnetic stirrer to its fullest and turned on the heating. I want to note that our antifreeze had changed its color from a dark blue to a greenish color. The reason for this must be that the color reacted with the sulfuric acid. As the temperature rose, the color changed even more. At some point I swapped the glass stopper with a thermocouple. This was because we actually needed to know the temperature of our distillate and not of our reaction flask. At around 150 degrees Celsius bubbles started to form and you can also see that our solution turned black. As the foaming increased even more I turned off the heating mantle. I didn't want all of this tar and black stuff to pass over into my condenser, but we were able to see a nice and clean vapor front climbing up. And here comes the moment all of us have waited for. Here comes the first drop of our nice and clean 1.4 dioxane. The amount of foam in our reaction flask increased. Bubbling became such a huge problem that I added the fan to cool it down quickly and avoid any of our stuff in our heating flask to pass into our product. We don't want to contaminate it. Fortunately, the fan was able to stop our reaction flask from overflowing. This preparation takes really long and I didn't want to waste much more time on it. So I stopped the distillation right then and there after we collected 250 milliliters of our distillate. Because I stopped early, this will definitely decrease our yield, but I didn't want to risk any more overflowing or whatever, so I decided to stop the reaction. The flask was removed and stoppered. You can see that this 1.4 dioxane is yellow and this is due to some contaminants. With the example of ethanol, I am going to explain the reaction mechanism to you. 
a proton attaches to our alcohol group. Water is given away and our positively charged ethyl group reacts with another molecule of ethanol to form this. This bond goes here and our proton is restored. I actually forgot to paint that in here. And there we go and our product is diethyl ether. With ethylene glycol this happens first on one side and then on the other side to form 1.4 dioxane. If you like this video feel free to give me one of these and consider subscribing to my channel. A follow up video where, we'll, where I will explain how I am going to clean or better said I am going to clean our crude 1.4 dioxane and stay tuned for this video. Until then don't kill yourself. Bye.